hello friend this is moin from structural bd welcome to my next video tutorial of concrete structure analysis using stat pro version v8i in this video i'm going to show you how to assign various member in your model so we have already defined this various size of column and beam size so i have to assign this size to this model first i'm going to assign grade beam you can see here my grade beam is 12 by 15 so to assign grade beam click here in this icon view from z and take this beam cursor now select this grade beam and go to isometric view you can see the grades grade beams are selected and before you select this grade beam you have to select this grade beam size from here i have 15 by uh, 12 by 15 grade beam and now when you have this size selected and also the beams are selected now check this assign to selected beams and click assign oh yes you can see the beams has been assigned so to check this you can click here rendered view you can see the beams are assigned and also you can go to here this icon symbol and labels and under the structure check this full sections apply okay you can see the beams are assigned now i have to assign this floor beam go to here this view from z again and select all this beam and isometric view and this is selected and also check this assign to selected beams now assign yes you can see the beams are assigned on the floor level and now i have to assign this column particular column i have um, first 12 by 15 column you can see here i have 12 by 15 column here this two is 12 by 15 so if i go to here you have to go to here view from y and here and to select this column you have to take this beam cursor and zoom select this way this column select very carefully so that only columns are selected this way press ctrl to select the another one and now check going to isometric view if the columns has been selected properly so you can see that the column has been selected and this column size also selected now check this assign to selected beam assign yes you can check this is 12 by 15 so my column orientation is this way horizontal 12 vertical 15 so you can see this is horizontal 12 vertical 15 then go to here again view from y now i have the size 15 by 12 check from this autocad file this is 15 by 12 this is 15 by by 12 and also this one and this one so here select this column press control this column press control this column and also this column now check going to 3d view so they are done now assign yes go to the next column i have 12 by 19.2 double click on this and the column size is showing here 12 by 19.2 i have this is 6 6 chance if you write another 6 then change close you can see this is 12 by 20 and click double click on the next one change this 6 6 6 change okay so i have the next column 12 by 20 go to this plan i have 12 by 20 this one and this one so go to this view from y and i have column you have to select the column carefully i have column on this point not this this point so to select zoom in and select carefully this column control and this column then go to 3d view to check you can see they are selected properly now assign okay so i have more column here i have two column which is 20 by 12 select this one control select this one and assign okay so i have more 12 by 18 column here and here so maybe i have assigned that 12 by 18 column this is my mistake so this should be 1.5 change and this should be 1.5 change okay now i have 12 by 18 so this is my 12 by 18 go to here and select this column and this column 3d view assign 
okay and you can see here this column this column this column which is 18 by 12 so go to here again select this column control this column and before you select your column you have to select this 12 by 18 by 12 now select this column this column this column this column okay done assign yes okay and you can see here we have a veranda here and we have a railing here maybe ms ss or concrete and i am thinking this is maybe concrete to as uh, the maximum load here but we don't don't have beam here but we have to assign a beam because of assigning load on this line so if i want to assign load in start pro then i have to assign a minimum a very low size beam and we don't we, we don't want to analyze that but we just want to assign load on that beam so i have to define another beam size here go to here define rectangle say 6.5 by 0.5 beam add close and now go to here view from z select this floor level right click new view ok 3d view and click the left arrow or right arrow up and down arrow from your keyboard to rotate the model this way and i have to select all this you can select this way or also you can select by clicking one by one pressing control now rectangle six six selected assign yes so done so this way you can assign various member size in your model and now see how you, we can assign support in the model so to assign support you have to go to here b from z take this node cursor and select all this bottom node to assign support there and there will be support and before you select this node you have to go to here general then support create from here and you have to decide if this is pin or fix as i have this is i'm thinking my foundation will be mat so if you have mat or combined footing then the support is fixed so select fix and if this is pile or individual footing or there is no moment at the top of the footing then you have to select pin support so i have mat i am selecting fixed then add select this support go to here select this point and check this assign to selected nodes assign yes you can see the support has been assigned and if you want to ask pin support then you have to create here the pin support done so this way you can assign support and also there is another way as i am assigning two types of column for each size if you want to assign only one size and then rotate you can do to do that go to here full section apply okay go to plan say i have this 18 by 12 if i want to rotate this i can do select say this way then you have to go to here you can see here in properties window beta angle go to beta angle then click here create beta angle i want to rotate that 90 degree right here 90 then okay select this one and select this column then assign okay and if you go to here to check you can see the column has been rotated it is now horizontal 12 vertical 18 but i don't want to use this way better way of doing is assign two types of column but you can also rotate this way and it uh, why i am doing this because when you changing this column frequently then you may have problem you may forget that when the beta angle has not been assigned and also may be missing so there may be a risk of orientation proper orientation of your column so i don't want to take any risks as i am doing a structural analysis so you can use two types of size for the same size member so i am deleting this and select this delete okay so thanks for watching my this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel to get updated see you in, in the next video